Hello, Dr. Lumpton. How are you doing today? I am doing very well. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you for joining me. And let's just get into it. Can you tell us about your role with Group Home Biz? Sure. Um, I'm a client executive at Group Home Biz, and my job is to help our clients um, via the business planning process uh, to get through uh, all of the requirements necessary for them to be able to begin a group home. Excellent, excellent. So I know a big piece of that is business plans. So I'm just curious, can you tell us about the business plans you create? And then also, what type of like clients do you receive that are wanting those business plans? Well, I'll, I'll start by saying we receive all kinds of clients. We have worked with um, families who want to start a group home, individuals who want to start a group home. We even have doctors who want to start a group home but may not want to be directly involved in the business. Um, and our clientele for these various group homes could be uh, any, anyone from juveniles uh, who are in distressed situations to the developmentally disabled to the aged, it runs the gamut. So what we try and do is help our clients uh, focus in on who it is they want to uh, provide assistance to and then get them through the process of uh, registering with their state um, making sure that they are meeting all the rules and regulations and getting them into a brick and mortar business and up and running if that is their goal. And currently, what are some big business plans that you have worked on um, with Group Home Biz? Um, I have worked on uh, business plans for the developmentally disabled uh, in New Jersey, in Illinois, and in um, Missouri. And while Group Home Biz has worked with about 27 states, um, we have the expertise on hand to help any client develop a group home in whatever state they are interested in getting established. But basically, um, I have worked generally with group homes for the developmentally disabled. But again, there, there's no limit to um, what we are able to do in terms of getting our clients through the process. And I know that there are additional just documents that are needed to be prepared. So do you write other documents such as RFPs? Yes, um, we do write requests for proposals. Um, government agencies may decide that there is a population um, that they have uh, not been served at, at the point that they're requesting uh, the proposal. And we do sit down, um, determine whether or not a client is able to apply and help them with the process of putting the proposal together and submitting it. Um, throughout our, our business planning process, there are, and it's not just the business plan, there are three main um, phases that we deal with when we are putting our plans together for our clients. Um, again, the business plan itself serves as a roadmap for getting our clients through the application and uh, licensing process. Um, it can be very difficult, particularly in the licensing um, element, um, because the, the states that are uh, that people are setting up their businesses in often want to assess how well prepared a client is for actually doing the work. Um, in addition to um, all of the requirements and the licensing with the business plan, we do some of the granular work, like helping our clients to decide um, what population do they really, really want to work with. We've had clients who um, have had uh, partners who all have a different idea of who the best population will be to work with. So we help them to hone that in and focus in on one population and then get them through the process of licensing and uh, getting their businesses up and running. We also help to formulate um, their business structure. So if they don't know 
uh, whether or not they want to be a for-profit or a nonprofit, we are able to assist them in that regard. While we can't tell them what to do, we can certainly provide guidance in terms of what might be the best way to begin. Um, and we can certainly help them if they find down the line that they want to change, say, from a, a nonprofit to a for-profit. Um, we are also um, able to help them to determine uh, through their state what is necessary for them to meet the requirements of, say, facility, uh, what the facility will need, and getting them through that process. And then finally, uh, again, the licensing process is just, it, it's, it's tedious, it's specific, but it is to ensure that our clients are absolutely prepared to deal with the populations that they have chosen to work with. And I'm, I'm very proud to say that Group Home Biz has experts on hand that can help them through every part of that process. Um, we have folks on hand who are, um, who are content experts where um, regulations and rules are involved um, so that each state that uh, we work within, uh, our clients know that they are meeting the regulations uh, that are required. We have tax professionals, uh, we have uh, technology professionals, we have accreditation professionals on staff. So we're able to help at every level. And I love that you have those experts that are there to help the clients because that's a lot, <laughs> right? Yeah, that is, a, it lot. is a lot. And so I know that you have clients that they come with, okay, we know what type of business we want to, um, a group home we want to open. So those that may be unsure, um, do you come across those that are unsure of the type of group home that they want to open? And if so, you know, how does the team support them? Well, we, we actually do come across that process. And at the very beginning of our meeting a new client, we talk through um, what the best population uh, would be to work with given what their goals are, um, sometimes what their expertise is, and many clients do come with some expertise in certain populations. So we help them to narrow down who the population is that they work with. Um, some, some of our clients have even come in with business plans, um, but by the time they come to us, it's usually because they have run into challenges, say maybe in the licensing process or the application process. And again, we have experts on hand that will walk them through that process and get them uh, up and running. And so you spoke about um, just clients that come potential clients that come with the business plan already made. So what is that process like? You know, do you review it all and then say, this is what you need to add or is it a revision or start over? You know, what is that process when they come with a business plan? Well, we basically take them through our plan. Um, again, we, we are exceptionally thorough in what we do. Our business plans will take them through um, generally, the population that they want to work with um, will take them through the rules and uh, regulations, the, the state rules and regulations regarding um, opening a, a group home. Um, we, we take them through our process. We do financial forecasts for them so that they can see um, where they stand on a financial basis from the very beginning of their business to three and four and five years out. And again, um, we also provide them links to some of the licensing information and then walk them through it so that we all are on the same page when it comes to um, understanding maybe why they didn't uh, get through the licensing uh, process initially and to help them overcome that and be successful uh, once, we, once we've got them. Wonderful. So once the business plan is done, you know, complete, are they done? <laughs> what are the next steps after that point? Well, they don't necessarily have to be done. Um, there are some clients who will take the business plan and run with it. Um, and then there are others who um, may be overwhelmed by, say, some of the back office items that have to take place, like payroll or paying taxes. And we do have a back office element 
Um, it's another offering in our menu of services. And so if they decide that, that, that they don't want to have that great of a hands-on role, we can certainly help them in that regard as well. And you spoke about just the experts you have. And so just tell us more about the team that you have that assists with the process. Well, we have a wonderful team. Um, we have client execs, again, who work, other client execs, I should say, who also work on business plans. So um, there are folks that will take you from point A to point Z to get you licensed and up and running. We also have um, expertise on staff that helps with the accreditation process. Um, these are uh, folks who have a history of working with different states across the country to make sure that um, uh, group home businesses are able to meet the standard that the, the state has set out. And again, we have tax experts, we have financial experts, and we have technology experts. And again, we stay with, the whole team stays with our clients as they move through this process. If there's, if there's one thing that say maybe I don't know, I can certainly go to any member of the team to help out. It may be the first time I'm encountering a business plan or a uh, business plan in the state that I haven't worked with, but certainly there are others on the staff who have. So it's, it's, we're all in it together and we're all there to make sure that our clients are successful. And for anyone out there that's thinking about just reaching out to Group Home Biz, um, is there anything that you recommend that they bring with them um, once they decide to reach out? Um, I would say just know your passion. I, I guess know your passion. Um, if, if you feel strongly that you want to work with kids, just Bring your passion to the table. Again, we have an initial interview that we do with all of our clients to sort of figure out where their hearts are. And once we have that in hand, it's easy to take off and get things moving in the right direction. Um, I would say uh, the other thing is, you know, sort of buckle up and get ready for, for the long haul. It's not a short process. Um, typically, um, getting through the licensing process takes anywhere from three months to 18 months. It, it just depends on the state that uh, we happen to be working with. And so um, bring your patience and bring your passion. Those would be two things I would recommend. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Lumpton. I have truly enjoyed just learning more about you and Group Home Biz. So before we go, can you tell us the best way to contact you and learn more about Group Home Biz? Sure. Um, you can reach Group Home Biz at 513-898-3307. Again, that's 513-898-3307. We look forward to providing assistance in any way that we can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Dr. Lumpton. Thank you. Mm -hmm.